Hello students, welcome to the second video of straight lines. In the first video, we have studied all the concepts related to slope of a straight line. If you did not watch my video, if you did not watch my first video, please go watch my first video because the concepts explained in the first video are very useful in the second video. Okay. In the second video, we'll learn different types of equations. Okay. A straight line can be represented in different forms. Okay. We have the six forms, slope intercept form, intercept form, point slope form, two point form. This four we will learn in this video and normal form and symmetric form we will learn in the next video. Okay. What are these forms used for? They are used to represent a straight line. Okay. In the 10th class, we have studied that general form of straight line will be ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. This is the general form. Right? Okay. This general form can be represented in any one of these six forms. Alright. Okay. So, in our today's video, we will not learn about normal form and symmetric form. We will learn about the four forms. Okay. Before explaining... Before starting this video, let me explain you what are intercepts. Okay. Now, see, this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis, right? Suppose if we have a straight line like this, this is our straight line. Okay. Now, see, this line is intersecting x-axis at some point, right? And this point will be of the form a comma zero. Value of x will be there, positive. And value of y will be 0 because on y axis value of y will be equal to 0. Okay. And this point will be of the form 0 comma b. Because on y axis x value will be 0. Right. So this is the origin. What is this now? This is a. This is b. So a is called as the x intercept. Okay. x intercept is a. Okay, what is y intercept? Y intercept is b. Both are positive here. Okay, can we have negative intercepts? Yes, of course we can have. See, if we have a straight line, see this is our x axis and this is our y axis. Okay, if we have a straight line like this, this is of course 0, comma b, and see this is minus a, comma 0. Right? x values will be negative on the left side right? so now x intercept will be minus a and y intercept will be plus b all right okay now if we have a straight line like this if we have a straight line like this see here this is minus a comma 0 and this is what 0 comma minus b see this is the y value minus b x value is how much? Minus a, right? Okay. So, x intercept is minus a, y intercept is minus b. Okay. And what about the fourth one? If we have a straight line like this, this is our x axis and this is our y axis. This will be positive, right? Because x values will be positive on the right side and y values will be negative okay, below 0. So, this is 0, comma minus b. So in this case, x intercept will be plus a and y intercept will be minus b. I hope this is clear. So we'll have these four diagrams and accordingly we can write the x intercepts and y intercepts. Okay. Okay. So let us study about what is slope intercept form. Let me just drop this. See this concept is very easy. This chapter is very very easy, not difficult at all very important chapter according as per intermediate okay it is given in the uh, name see slope intercept form so slope of a straight line will be given and one intercept will be given y intercept will be given okay see if this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis let us say this is the straight line okay and we took this as 0 comma b right we can take anything we like we can take 0 comma b 0 comma x 0 comma c right so generally what we do is we take 0 comma c 
okay in the textbook it is taken as 0 comma c it is up to us we can take 0 comma b also okay but let us follow the textbook convention 0 comma c all right now this is the point let us say there is one more point x comma y okay on this straight line okay now let us find the equation of this straight line okay before finding the equation can we find the slope okay slope is m right what is the value of m y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 in the first video we have studied this so m will be equal to if you take this as x1 see this is 0 comma c and x comma y if you take this as x1 y1 this as x2 y2 and substitute it here y2 is y minus y1 y1 is equal to c divided by x2 x2 is how much x minus x1 x1 is equal to 0 okay so x minus 0 is x1 right so if you send x on the other side what will this become now it will become mx is equal to y minus c if you send c on the other side it will be mx plus c is equal to y or you can write it as y is equal to mx plus c okay so this is the slope intercept form okay this is the equation of a straight line but we are writing that straight line in slope intercept form okay so see what is given slope and what is this c this is y intercept not x intercept this is y intercept okay so what is slope intercept form it is in the name see slope and intercept so slope of a straight line will be given to you and y intercept will be given to you so if slope and y intercepts are given you need to use slope intercept form to write the equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is intercept of c okay all right okay let us study about the second form intercept form okay we have studied what are intercepts right suppose if we have a straight line like this let us take intercepts as a okay from here to where it is a and this is 0 comma b so this is b a is x intercept and b is y intercept just now we have uh, studied that right so this intercept form what is this intercept form see y is equal to mx plus c slope intercept form if intercepts are given we can write the equation as x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 this is the intercept form x divided by x intercept y divided by y intercept okay is equal to 1 here always 1 should be there here it should be 1 on rhs okay all right See, let us derive how we got x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Alright, now, see, this is a straight line, right? This is a straight line. Now, let us find the slope of this straight line. What is the slope of the straight line? M. Okay, if you take this as x1, y1, this as x2, y2. Okay. M is equal to, substitute the values, y2 minus y1. So, b minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1 so this m will be equal to b divided by 0 minus a minus a or minus b by a i hope this is clear so slope of this straight line is how much minus b by a okay all right now we got the slope see let us take this only y is equal to mx plus c now slope is equal to how much given slope minus b by a so let us write y is equal to this is minus b by a multiplied by x plus c c is y intercept right so what is y intercept here y intercept here is b so in place of c you should write b okay now let us simplify c this is y is equal to minus b by a x plus if you write 1 here okay so this will be a b divided by a we are making the denominators same or if this is confusing see 
we had b here let us write b by 1 let us simplify this denominators are different multiply a into 1 is a cross multiply now this will be minus bx plus a into b will be ab so this will be y now a goes on the other side it will be ay is equal to minus bx plus ab okay now let me just rub this part okay what do we have now send bx on the other side so it will be bx plus ay is equal to ab if you divide both sides by ab on rhs it is 1 ab divided by ab is 1 so this will be b and b cancel a and a cancel will have x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 okay so remember this form is very easy x divided by x intercept x intercept is a y divided by y intercept is equal to 1 1 always okay so what is intercept form now x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 okay all right now yes one more thing here see can the intercepts be negative yes this is 0 comma b so plus b will come here right so this is minus a comma 0 minus a in that case this equation will change like this x by minus a plus y by b is equal to 1 okay because x intercept is negative now minus a okay if we have a straight line like this see this is x axis and this is y axis if we have a straight line like this and minus a is the intercept and here minus b right so because it is 0 comma minus b this is minus a comma 0 so this is minus a and this is minus b so x intercept is minus a y intercept is minus b in that case the equation will be x by minus a plus y by minus b is equal to 1 okay if we have a straight line like this this is a straight line this is x axis and this is y axis so this is a comma 0 this is plus a and this will be 0 comma minus b minus b right x intercept is plus a y intercept is minus b so in this case x by a plus y by minus b equal to 1 will be the intercept form okay i hope these two forms are clear intercept form and sorry slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus c intercept form is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 okay now we'll learn about point slope form okay see i told you we will learn about point slope form okay but before learning about point slope form what, what we'll do is we'll do one problem of slope intercept form and one problem of intercept form okay so that the concepts will be more clear okay we have a question here find equation of straight line making angle 120 degrees with the positive direction of x axis measured anti clockwise and passing through 0 comma minus 2 okay what do we mean by this see there is a straight line making an angle 120 degrees okay let us take x axis and y axis all right okay now see there is a straight line okay it is making 120 degrees so straight line will be like this now see this is 120 measured from x axis anti clockwise so this is 120 degrees right if it is perpendicular if it is like this it will be 90 degrees right it is not 90 it is greater than 90 that means it will be like this now 120 degrees okay and passing through 0 comma see minus 2 this is x value this is y value x value is 0 on y axis and y is negative right that means it should be here it is 0 comma minus 2 okay what do we mean by this see which means this is y intercept okay so can we use slope intercept form see angle is given using angle we can find slope we can find the value of m we are using y is equal to mx plus c using this angle 120 we can find the value of m tan 120 will give us m and c is equal to how much what is c y intercept so y intercept is minus 2 okay so c here is minus 2 let us find the value of m 
tan 120 is equal to minus root 3 will come. Okay. See? Tan 90 plus 30. We can write 120 as 90 plus 30. Tan 90 plus 30 is cot 30. Okay, but 90 plus 30 will, will lie in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, tan value is negative. Okay. So cot 30 is root 3, but negative will be minus. So minus root 3. Okay. So we have y is equal to mx plus c. y is equal to m value is minus root 3 x and c value is minus 2. So this is the equation of a straight line. Okay. In slope intercept form. I hope this is clear. Alright. Okay. Okay. We have a new problem here. Find equation of a straight line whose x and y intercepts are 2 and 5 respectively. Okay. So intercept form. See x by a y by b is equal to 1. Here x intercept and y intercepts are given. x intercept is 2 and y intercept is 5. Which means a and b are given right. Okay. And both are positive. That means the line will be like this. If this is our x axis and this is y axis, the line will be this line. It will be like this. Okay. X intercept is 2. Which means this is 2 comma 0. This point is 2 comma 0. This point is 0 comma 5. We know this is 2 right. A. So here A is equal to 2. And what is the value of B? B is equal to 5. Simple. We can use intercept form. Okay. Now, it is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So, what is x by a? a is equal to 2 plus y. y by 5 is equal to 1. So, this is the equation of a straight line in intercept form. Okay. Now, see. Let us do one thing. Can we write this equation in uh, slope intercept form? Slope intercept form? Yes. And we should get the same equation, right? Let us do that. Okay. Let us verify. Our problem is over. Okay. Now we are just playing around with this concept. Okay. Now see what is given. B is equal to 5. Which means this C is equal to 5, right? Y intercept. Okay. So we got C is equal to 5. To write this, we need the value of C and we need M. M is slope. Okay. Slope of this two. Two points are given. So, one is 0, 5, another one is 2, 0. If you take this as x1, y1, this as x2, y2, let us find the slope. y2 minus y1, 0 minus 5 divided by x2 minus x1. So, minus 5 by 2 will be the slope. Okay, let us substitute these values here. y is equal to mx plus c. We have y is equal to mx plus c. So, this is y is equal to m value is minus 5 by 2 x. And C is how much? It is equal to 5. Okay. If you multiply this with 2 on both sides. So this will be 2y. This will be 2 multiplied by minus 2. And this will be 2 multiplied by 5. So this and this will get cancelled. To eliminate denominator, we are doing that. So this is 2y is equal to minus 5x plus 10. If you send 5x on the other side, this will become 5x plus 2y is equal to 10. This is the equation. Now you must be wondering, I told you this, you will get the same equation like this, but this looks different. These two are in fact one and the same. You simplify this, denominators are different. So multiply denominators, 2 5s are 10, cross multiply, 5x plus 2y is equal to 1. So this 10 goes on the other side, 5x plus 2y is equal to 10. Okay. So you will have the same equation. See, equation of this straight line will not change. We will write the equation of that straight line in different form. Okay. This form x by 2 plus y by 5 is equal to 1 is intercept form. And this y is equal to mx plus c or y is equal to minus 5 by 2x plus 5 is intercept form. Okay. This is the general form of the straight line. Alright. I hope these two concepts are clear. When slope and intercept, y-intercept is given, we can use y is equal to mx plus c. Hence, it is called as slope-intercept form. See here, a and b are there. These are intercepts. a is x-intercept, b is y-intercept. We can write x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Remember, you should have 1 on RHS here, right-hand side. So, such form is called as intercept form because we have intercepts here. 
Okay. Now, what could be point slope form? In point slope form, one point will be given and slope will be given. We need to find the equation of the straight line. What will be given? Point and slope will be given. Hence, the name is point slope form. Let us see what is point slope form. Okay. Now, see here, y is equal to mx plus c. One point and slope will be given to us. Okay. Let us say the point is x1, y1 and the slope of the line is m. Okay. Alright, see, we have slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus c, right? Slope is m and this point x, x1, y1 will lie on this. Okay, let me draw the diagram. Okay, this is y is equal to mx plus c. Let the equation of this line be y is equal to mx plus c. And this point will lie on this straight line x1. Okay, this point x1, y1 will lie on this straight line, which means... If we substitute the value of x1, y1 in this, it should satisfy LHS and RHS should be equal, isn't it? Okay. A point which lies on this straight line should satisfy the straight line. Isn't it? Okay. Now, y is equal to mx plus c. Let us substitute this value x1, y1 here. In place of y, we can write y1. In place of x, we can write x1. So that way, we will get the value of this intercept. So send mx1 on the other side it will become minus right so we have y1 y1 minus mx1 is equal to c let us substitute this value of c in this one y is equal to mx plus c what is the value of c y is equal to mx plus c is y1 minus mx1 okay c value we got it as y1 y1 minus mx1 Okay, now send y1 on the other side. So this is y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x mx1. This is x1. Okay, so this will be y minus y1 is equal to, can we take m common here? Yes, x minus x1 will come. So this is point slope form. One point will be given to you and the slope will be given. See? We need to substitute that x1, y1 given point here in place of x1, y1 and the slope will be given, right? We can get the equation. So what is point slope form? y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Okay. I hope this is clear. We will do few, one or two problems related to this concept now. Okay. See, find equation of a straight line passing through minus 2 comma 3 and making an angle 135 degrees with positive x direction measured counterclockwise counterclockwise means anticlockwise right okay which means see point and slope is given to us point and slope point slope form using this formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 right okay so tan 135 to find the value of m we should find what is tan 135 tan 135 is minus 1 okay see here tan 90 plus 45 135 we can write it as 90 plus 45 so this is cot 45 but tan 135 see 135 is in the second quadrant so it will be tan will be negative so this will be minus 1 so minus 1 is the slope of the straight line and it is passing through minus 2 comma 3 which means x1 is minus 2 and y1 is 3 substitute it here y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 why are we using this formula because one point and slope is given angle is given which means we can find slope so slope and point is given point slope form so it is y minus y1 it is equal to 3 is equal to m minus 1 into x minus x1 x1 is minus 2 so this is minus of minus plus so this will be y minus 3 is equal to minus x minus 2 send this terms on the other side it will become plus y plus minus x will go on the other side plus y sorry plus x plus y minus 3 plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0 okay 
can we use the other form y is equal to mx plus c also and get the same result? Yes, we can do that. Okay, let us try it. See, we have solved this problem using this. But can we use this also y is equal to mx plus c and solve the problem? Yes, we can do that. See, mm, we have y is equal to mx plus c y is equal to m is minus 1 we got minus 1 multiplied by x plus c okay and this will be the equation of a straight line but this straight line will pass through this point minus 2 comma 3 right which means in place of x and y if we substitute this we will get the value of c let us substitute y is equal to 3 minus 1 x is how much minus 2 plus c so this is 3 is equal to minus into minus is how much plus so this is plus 2 plus c 2 goes on the other side becomes minus so c value is equal to how much 1 so now let us substitute c is equal to 1 in this case c value is 1 we got so let us substitute 1 here and then simplify see this is y minus x plus 1 okay send all these terms on the other side minus x will become plus this is plus y, this plus 1 will become minus 1. x plus y minus 1 equal to 0, x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So you can either use y is equal to mx plus c or y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. It is up to you. Okay. Okay. Now let us learn about 2 point form. 2 point form is also very easy. This 2 point form will can be derived from this formula. Okay. Let me just rub this. Okay. Now, see, what do we mean by two point form? Two points will be given to us. Okay. We need to find the equation. Let the two points be x1, y1, x2, y2. We need to find the equation of a straight line passing through these two points. Okay. Like this. This is x1, y1 and this is x2 y2 we need to find the equation of this straight line and this straight line is passing through these two points okay now see let us use the same form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 if two points are given can you find the slope yes in place of m let us write the slope formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 or you can write y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2 right so this is as it is, if you send x2, x1 on the other side, it will be y minus y1 multiplied by x2 minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 multiplied by x minus x1. Okay, you can write this here, this here is one and the same. In the textbook, x1 minus x2, here y1 minus y2 is given. Okay, believe me, these two are same. So this is two point form. When, should, when can we use this two point form? When two points are given and if we need to find the equation of a straight line, we need to use this two point form, this formula. Can we use point slope form also when two points are given? Yes. Can we use this also? Yes. Y is equal to mx plus c? Yes. Can we use this also? Yes. We can use x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 also. Okay. All right. So let us do one problem based on two point form and then we will start the exercise problems. Okay. Find equation of straight line passing through 1 comma minus 2 minus 2 comma 3. Two points are given to us. We can use two point form. Can we use point slope form? Yes. Can we use slope intercept form also? Yes, we can use. But we will use point slope form now. Sorry, two point form. Two point form. So if you take this as x1, y1, this as x2, y2, substitute these values here. We derived this formula just now, right? Y minus y1. Y1 is how much? Minus of minus 2 will become plus 2. Okay. Multiplied by x2 minus x1. x2 minus x1. Minus 2 minus 1 is equal to y2 minus y1. y2 minus y1. So minus of minus 2 will become plus 2, right? Be careful while substituting the values. Last one is x minus x1. x minus 1. x1 is 1, right? So this is y plus 2 multiplied by 
minus 3 is equal to this is 5 multiplied by x minus 1. Okay, so this will be minus 3y minus 6. We are multiplying minus 3 with y minus 3 with 2. So this will be 5x minus 5. 5 into x, 5 into 1. Okay, let us bring this y term and this 6 this side. So 0 is equal to 5x plus 3y minus 5 plus 6. This minus 3y minus 6 went here became plus. So we have 0 is equal to 5x plus 3y plus 1 or 5x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. How can we check whether this is correct or not? Substitute either the first point or the second point in this. It will satisfy. Okay. Alright. So 5x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. Can we use point slope form also? y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1? Yes. I'll explain you how. I'm not going to solve that, but I'll explain you. Okay. You can try it. Okay. See. m we can find using these two points y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay. We can find the value of m. Now, you can consider x1, y1. Either this point you can consider it as x1, y1 or this point you can consider it as x1, y1. You will get the same answer. Okay. Okay. What about this one? y is equal to mx plus c. We have two points. Can we find the slope? Yes, we can find the slope. Okay. After finding the slope, substitute that value of m, that is slope here. And in place of x and y, we can either substitute 1, comma minus 2 or minus 2, comma 3 to get the value of c. After getting the value of c, substitute the value of c in this, you will get the equation. Okay. Alright. We will start exercise problems now. Okay. We have a problem here. Find slopes of lines x plus y is equal to 0 and x minus y is equal to 0. See, points are not given. Equation of a straight line is given here. Equation of a straight line is given. We need to find the slope of this line. We need to find the slope of this line. Okay. So let us write this in terms of y is equal to mx plus c. Alright. So see, this x plus y is equal to 0 should be written in terms of y is equal to mx plus c. Which means on LHS we should have y. So y on LHS, the other terms x value send it on the other side so minus x plus 0 will come right we can omit this 0 now isn't it of the form y is equal to mx plus c yes so what is the value of m minus 1 see we don't if we don't have anything minus 1 is there right so here it is minus 1 slope of this line is minus 1 and what is the value of c it is equal to 0 okay now what about this one x minus y is equal to 0. Write it in, in this form y is equal to mx plus c again. So we have see minus y is equal to x will go on the other side it becomes minus. Minus minus will get cancelled we'll have y is equal to x. So this is y is equal to mx plus c form right where c is equal to 0. Okay what is the value of m? m is equal to 1. So slope of this line is plus 1, slope of this line is minus 1. Okay. Okay, see, find equation of a straight line containing the points. We have given two bits now. 2 comma minus 3, 0 comma minus 3. Okay, we need to find the equation of a straight line. Okay. What is given to us? Two points are given to us. Can we use two point form? Yes. Can we use point slope form also? Yes. Can we use slope intercept form also? Yes. Okay. But it will be easy if you use two point form. But if you don't remember two point form formula, you can use point slope form or you can use this y is equal to mx plus c also. Okay. Like I explained you previously in the video. I'll do the first bit. You do the second bit. Okay. And write the answer in the comment section. So, let us use two point form y minus y1. Let us take this as x1, this as y1, this as x2, this as y2. Let us substitute it in this formula. So we have y minus y1. y1 is minus 3. So the minus of minus 3 will become plus 3. x2 minus x1. x2 is 0 minus x1 is equal to 2. So is equal to y2 minus y1. 
y2 minus y1 minus of minus 3 will become plus 3 okay multiplied by x minus x1 so x minus x1 is 2 so this is y plus 3 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to 3 this will become 0 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 multiplied by x minus 2 0 multiplied by x minus 2 will become 0 okay this minus 2 goes on the other side it will divide right you will have 0 divided by minus 2 is 0 so what is the equation now y plus 3 is equal to 0 is the equation of a line containing these two points okay i hope this is clear you please solve this problem okay and write the equation of this straight line in the comment section Find angle which the straight line y is equal to root 3x minus 4 makes with y axis. Okay. See, this is y is equal to mx plus c form, right? So, what is the value of m? Root 3. Okay. We know m is tan theta, right? So, tan theta is equal to root 3. So, when is tan theta root 3? when theta is equal to 60 degrees okay now students will in a hurry write 60 degrees is the angle 60 degrees is the answer but 60 degrees is with respect to the x-axis see if you have a straight line okay like this this is x-axis this is y-axis and this is the straight line what is the equation of this straight line y is equal to root 3x minus 4 okay like this okay now y is equal to root 3x minus 4 will make what angle here? 60 degrees. That's what we got here. But what do we need to what do we need to find? We need to find the angle that this straight line makes with y axis, not with x axis. Okay? With y axis. We need to find this part now. How should we do that? This angle we need to find. Okay. Now see, these two are opposite angles which means this will be 60 degrees, right? And this will be 90 degrees. So 60 plus 90 and plus this angle should give us 180, right? So 90 plus 60 plus, let us say this is some x degrees is equal to 180 degrees, right? 150, 90 and 60 is 150, 150 goes on the other side becomes minus 180 minus 150 is equal to 30 degrees. So this angle is 30 degrees. So what is this? What is the angle this line is making with y axis? It is making 30 degrees or you can write pi by 6 also because pi by 6 is 30 degrees. Okay. Be careful. The answer is not 60 degrees. Okay. 60 de degrees is with respect to x axis. We need to find with respect to y axis. So 30 degrees is the answer. Okay, we have a question here now. Write the equation of reflection of line x is equal to 1 in y axis. What do we mean by this? See, diagrams are important. See how important diagrams are. Okay, now see this is x axis, this is y axis. We need to find the equation of reflection of the line x is equal to 1. So see, this is 0 and x will be 1 here, x will be 2 here, x will be 3 here, 4 and here it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on, right? Okay, now x is equal to 1. What is line x is equal to 1? See, this line is x is equal to 1 because on this line, you, you no matter, no matter where you take point on this line, it will always be x is equal to 1. So the equation of this line is x is equal to 1. If the line is like this, if it is passing through 3 and it is perpendicular to x axis, the equation will be x is equal to 3. Okay. Alright. Let us come back to this question. See. Write the equation of reflection of this line x is equal to 1. Okay. We need to write the reflection. Okay. We need to write the reflection and its equation. So, see here how far is this 0 to 1, 1 unit. Right? So, if we consider this y axis as a mirror. If you consider this y-axis as a mirror, we can see this x is equal to 1 reflection here. Right? So 
so what is this equation now x is equal to minus 1 okay so x is equal to minus 1 or you can send 1 on the other side x plus 1 is equal to 0 is the equation of this reflection on y axis okay y axis if you consider as a mirror you can see this x is equal to 1 here at minus 1 okay Right equation of straight lines parallel to x axis. Okay. And at a distance of 3 units above x axis, and the second bit is at a distance of 4 units below x axis. Let us draw the diagrams first x axis and y axis, right? Okay. We need to write equation of straight line parallel to x axis. Okay. This is our x axis. Okay. Parallel to x-axis means the lines will be like this, right? Here, here, here. And below x-axis, the lines will be like this. Okay. At a distance of 3 units above x-axis. See? This is 0. Y values will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on here, right? And here it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and so on. Negative values of y below 0, positive values of y above 0. So we need to find the equation of a line which is parallel to x-axis and at a distance of 3 units above x-axis. 3 units above x-axis, 1, 2, 3. See, this is the line. y is equal to 3. On this straight line, you take any point, it will be satisfying this so y is equal to 3 is the equation of this first one y is equal to 3 okay 3 units above x-axis right 4 units below 4 units below 1 2 3 4 that means y is equal to minus 4 or y plus 4 is equal to 0 okay so y is equal to 3 is the answer for the first bit y is equal to minus 4 is the answer for the second bit Okay, we have a similar question. See, write equation of straight lines parallel to, sorry, parallel to, this is y-axis, parallel to y-axis and at a distance of two units from y-axis to the right of it. Okay, and the second one is at a distance of five units from the y-axis to the left of it. Okay, let us draw the diagram. This is our x-value, this is our y-value, right? Sorry, x-axis and y-axis. Okay, we need to find equations which are parallel to y-axis. So, these lines will be parallel to y-axis. Perpendicular lines, right? Will be parallel to y-axis. First one is at a distance of 2 units. So, this is 0 here. X value, x value will be 1. X value will be 2, 3, 4 and so on here, right? So, this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 and so on. Okay. To the right side of y axis and it should be 2 un units away from y axis. So 1, 2, 2 units away from y axis and to the right side. So this is x is equal to 2. This line is x is equal to 2. Okay. What about this 5 units from y axis to the left side? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So x is equal to minus 5 or x plus 5 is equal to 0 okay so x is equal to minus 5 or x plus 5 is equal to 0 all right 